Let's do it. This is the book of John, chapter 15, verse 20. Remember the word which I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they, all, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. Call law. Yahweh to the elect and one third of the children of Israel. Double honors to the teachers and the head apostles of the great millstone. Be well, peace and salutations to the Alchemy. I'm pushing out this work with you with sincerity. Also, Brakada to the Aquafim who are listening as well. This is Prophets in Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida. My name is Brother Daniela and by my side. Brother Ashar. Brother Juan. All right. So we came across this article, man. All right. Germany moves full lockdown for Nessa mandate. Okay. So right now, Germany is going through it. And also these other countries on the other side of the hemisphere. Okay. It's going to come from the, the, the first. It's going to come from the east all the way to the west, which is where America dwells. In, in, in other countries as well okay so all these countries right now in the east right now they're going through uh lockdowns and mandates okay australia all right italy um france okay like people are going through it right now man and uh in, in germany is finally you know you know uh you know getting to that point yeah getting to that point of those draconian laws all right, and I remember how, and I remember I had a conversation with one of my coworkers. I was like, "Man, I wish I can go to Germany," and they said, "Oh no, right now it's not a good time to go to Germany. It's, it's not a good time to be over there." I was like, "I wonder what she means about that." And then this article um, popped up today, okay, uh, actually yesterday, you know, about a, about a few hours ago. On, uh, on November 24, 2021, it says Germany moves full lockdown for Nessa mandate. And it says German officials are mulling the possibility of enacting stricter, uh, stricter uh, CV restrictions across the country amid a surge in daily inf infections. Cancellor, um, Cancellor. Angela Merkel called on German state heads to decide whether to opt into a full lockdown and Vanessa mandate by Wednesday, according to CNBC. Okay, so that's the huge uh, thing that's going on right now in Germany. They want to do a full lockdown and people and a majority of the people have already took uh, um, the vial. Okay, and right now it's a war against those who are veed and those who are unveed. Okay, and the same and the same scenario is, is about to happen on the Western Hemisphere, which is America, all right, and, and these other countries, Mexico, all right, South America, and all these islands that dwell on the other side of this country, uh, 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 like uh, the Earth. Okay, so we as we're watching all these countries going through these things, it's preparing us to see what's about to happen. It's a foreshadow of what's about to happen here in America. But it's going to be a trillion times worse. Can you bring back that precept real quick? Go on. This is the book of John chapter 15 verse 20. Remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord. The servant's not greater than his Lord, man. So whatever Yahweh have been through here on earth, we're about to go through the same thing. All right. He been through uh, like hell and high water. <clears throat> he been through persecution. All right. They ripped patches from his beard. They called them all kinds of names. All right, um, like people wanted to kill him. People wanted to do all these things to Yahweh Shai, but he was a blameless man. All right, you know, he walked on earth and he was blameless, and people still wanted to hurt him. You know, so like, watch. You know, the elect will be the same way. The elect will be what left blameless. All right, and because cause what? Because all they did was push the will of the uh, heavenly Father. You know, and they were left blameless. All they did was open the Bible, all right? And the elect will be left blameless, but what? The service not grained in his master. So whatever Yahweh Shah has been through, the elect will go through the same thing, all right? But this time, Yahweh Shah, um, Yahweh Shah, Shah is with the elect, you know? Is with the elect, and, and the elect will, um, will be uh, protected in these last days. Some will fulfill their lot of being um, beheaded, but those... But the rest, those are going, um, you know, in the, uh, like some will be in the synagogues, 
to be uh, you know persecuted some will be get um be getting beheaded but you know but the rest will see um, uh, it, um you know like the rest will never see death all right so, like you know, but some of the elect is about to live um you know like uh wait uh the brother told me he said uh some of the elect will um, it's living immortality as we speak right now okay so some of the elect will never see death that's right some and, of the elect like, aren't gonna taste uh, the death man that's okay? right uh, because they're gonna, you know, they're gonna already be preserved already, man, to, uh, uh, uh you know, be uh, naturally, you know, to escape these deaths, man. Absolutely. Okay. It's gonna be already predestined for them to just, you know, be delivered, man. Con. All right. And, the, and these lockdowns, man, it's gonna drive people crazy. It's gonna drive people crazy. Imagine, imagine going to the store, man. Imagine going to these stores and you didn't get uh, like vowed up. All right. Imagine going to these stores and you in a long line, and you know what I'm saying and those who who um who took that vow, you know, they got all the food from the store, and then there's nothing in the store. All right, and then people waiting in line, and, and, and you're trying to get to the store, but everything's empty. That's gonna cause a riot. That's gonna cause people to kill each other, man. It's gonna be crazy. Some people can't stay in the house all the time. Some people are gonna rebel against that and try to get out of the house and, and, and do some stupid stuff. Or try to feed their family, all right. It's, it's going to get to that point to where it's going. Um, it's going to get to the point of where like people are going to get, um, the people who are in office or people who have a high position in the state, you know, what I'm saying about to get assassinated by the civilians, and it happens all the time in every single uh, uh you know, like in history, you know, like people begin to rebel against, you know, um. Those who are in charge over their um, you know, freedom, etc. You know, so we're gonna witness all of that on TV with other people on the other side of the um, uh, like, like the other side of the earth, right? And um, on the east side, and then it's gonna slowly and gradually to the other side of Earth, and it's gonna hit America the hardest out of all countries. Okay, read it on. It says, on Tuesday, Health Minister Jen Spahn starkly warned citizens that pretty much everyone in Germany will be vanessa recovered, or dead by the end of this winter. So it's, it's, so it's about to be a dark winter, all right? On the other side of Earth, it's going to be a very dark winter, all right? It said, by the end of this winter, while calling for more rest restrictions to be put in place, he, uh, he also called for more public places to implement 3G rule, uh, you know, or to limit access to only those who are finessed, all right, have had a, uh, a negative test or recently recovered from the sickness, CNB CNBC reported. Multiple German states are currently operating under 2G rules which restrict access, uh, access to movie theaters, bars, restaurants, to patrons who are finessed or have recently recovered from the sickness CNBC reported. Okay, so... Gone, I got a Gone, so those who are, um, you know, already beat up, you know, those who have a positive test, they won't be able to uh, go to certain places, but those who are, uh, you know, who pass the test, they'll be able to go back to their so-called normal life. All right, so it's gonna get it's gonna get harder and harder and harder and harder. It's gonna be more difficult. All right, for those who who, who choose not to take that vow, man, and, and what and those and those times we gotta trust in the Lord even more. All right. Curiosity of um, what the brother's saying, because with that being said, like the brother says, we get harder and harder. The ones that are, you know, v up, they're gonna be living a normal life, and living a living a normal life is is a, a, a more reason of why uh, we're gonna, you know, you have to trust in Yahweh Shemashah more because it's a fact of the temptations of these things, man. You see, because these devils, man, they know what they're doing. They're gonna use people like them as trust test dummies, man. You can see people be used as test dummies daily as we uh, uh, you know, 
both got our de- our doors, man. Okay, these people are zombies, uh, walking, living zombies, man. Okay, and the ones that don't take that thing, man, are gonna live in a very, um, you know, live in a, a, a harsher predicament. But mm-hmm. the ones that are seeking how much not shot, the Lord is gonna uh, uh, take care of us, man. That's right. Okay. So that mindset of the brother saying, you can read that article again, Mama Kashar. Come on. You're back to the. Get back to the um, third paragraph. It says, on Tuesday, health minister Jen Spahn Sp- Sp- starkly warned citizens that pretty much everyone in Germany will be finessed, recovered, or dead by the end of this winter, while calling for more restrictions to be put in place. He also called for more public places to implement 3G rule or to limit access to only those who are finessed, all right, have had a negative Test or recently recovered from the sickness, CNBC reported. See, and that shows you simply that, hey man, Esau's not playing no games, man. Okay, like the brother said, it's gonna start on the east side, okay, before it gets to America. When it gets to America, it's gonna be a lot worse, man. Yes. Okay, it's not gonna be as, uh, um, it's not, it's gonna, it's not gonna be as the level, uh, it, it is on, on, um, you know, over on that side, man, when it gets to America. It's gonna be. Intensify when it gets to America. Yes. Okay. It what what we're seeing now and reading now is a a, a a a prime example of what you know we should get prepared for, um and and, and to think uh worse of in America because hey man these people are about to be as an example man okay and you're about to find out how this is about to go man. Okay, if you experienced the first lockdown over here in America, hey man, people weren't even ready for it. People were killing it, um, themselves, man. Okay, people were uh, sacrificing their kids. Okay, uh, uh, um, uh, I hear, uh, you know, I'm, I'm being at a store and people stopping each other for food, man. Yes. Okay, that's right. we're about to come into a horrible time where, <laughs> hey man, it's gonna get, you know, way worse than ever, man. That's and right. that right there being. What the brother went into, you know, about Germany, okay? It, 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 you should be knowing these things are going to be 10 times worse over here. Yes, okay? calm, calm. So, calm, man. A beautiful brother. All right. You know what I'm saying? And then, uh, and just read it on. It says, uh, it says only about 68% of the German population has reportedly been fully vanessed against the sickness on the lower side of the European states. It says we've reached a point at which we must clearly say that we need to facto compulsory um, Vanessa and a lockdown for the un-Vanessa. T- Tillman Kuban, head of the youth wing of Merkel's Christian Democratic Union, said in, in, uh, said, said in an interview published on Sunday, some German states have already begun to call for medical workers and healthcare staff to be required to get Vanessa. It is more. It is. It is a move that is being considered by the federal government. CNBC noted on Tuesday, Germany's defense ministry announced that the military will make uh, 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 Cadillac 19 Vanessa mandatory for troops. So they're attacking everybody. Nobody's safe. All right. If you want to live a so-called no more mediocre life. Of, uh, of the B system, then, you know, so be it, you know, but those who will hold their integrity to the end for your Hapa Shema Shai, those are the ones that's going to overcome the B system. Yeah, man. Hey, this is a part of Esau's uh, curriculums, man. Yes. And, uh, for lack of better words, this is a part of his agenda. Yeah. And, and this is being applied, man. Okay. This is being applied, man. This is part of his NWO, man. Okay, these things that they're doing now, and man, it's just it's, it's just the uh, pre-games of it, man. That's right. All right? That's all. You know, you could, yep. Come. Then grab that Isaiah 10 real quick. Come. Come. And then, uh, and then we're going to grab a shard's precepts. Oh, sure. Uh, this is the, the book of Isaiah, chapter 10, uh, verse 1. It says, Woe to them that decree unrighteous decrees, and that right grievous which they have prescribed. Come on, come on, you want to break that down? 
time, when it goes into the word decrees, man, it's just laws, man. That's right. Okay, it says, woe men and destruction unto them that decree, okay, laws, unrighteous decrees, man. That's right. And these devils are applying those uh, unrighteous decrees, man. Esau is, you know, taking these things, you know, and, and use them wrongfully, man. Okay, towards the people. Okay, and it says that right previous which they have prescribed. You see, simple as that, man. Okay, and then part of those previous laws is you see uh, Esau abuse, um, you know, his uh, uh, his authority, man. Okay, his authority by applying certain things like, uh, 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 you know, when you can't, um, when you can't uh, come out your house at a certain time, okay, which is going into that lockdown, man. That's Esau. Uh, for example, uh, abusing his uh, his laws, man, and his power, his power, you see, right. and that's going to lead into people with being rebellious, right? Okay, and I have a scripture for that if I can. If I can show. Come, this is the book of uh, uh, chapter. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter fifteen, verse. I'm starting verse fourteen. It says, "Woe to the world!" You see that word, "woe," get destruction to the world and them that dwell therein. Mm -hmm. Okay. You see, those ones are going to be uh, veed up, okay? Destruction will come upon you. That's right. Verse 15, uh, verse 15. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and the, it says, and swords in their hands. Mm -hmm. Verse 16, for come, their... Come, 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 stop on that. Come. It's going to be civil war mm -hmm. in America, all right? If you want to have a good... Good visual. Watch the movie Bushwick. Mm. All right. Wow. The movie Bushwick, with uh, with Dave Bautista in it. You have to watch that movie if you want to see the visual of America. All right. That was uh, the movie Bushwick. That was just the only uh, of, of the city of Bushwick in, in New York. But imagine that all over the United States. Yeah. All right. It's gonna be one person against the other. The the veed versus the unveed. Black versus white. Chinese versus, uh, you know. Whoever, Fuck. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be everybody, like like everybody's gonna be for their own people or sometimes it's it's it's, it's, it's this group versus that group. Yeah, this 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 gang gets that gang. Yes, you know what I'm saying. It's, it's gonna be crazy out here. It's, it's gonna, gonna be all hell or uh, breaking loose, man. Yes, and nobody's gonna be safe. All except, anarchy out there, and, man. Yeah, except the elect. That's right. All right. Verse sixteen. Let's uh, read it again. For there shall be sedition among men mm -hmm. and invading one another they shall not regard their kings nor priests or princes mm -hmm. and the curse of their actions shall stand in their power Come. Okay, so you're going to have a lot of people being rebellious in simple form you're going to have a lot of people being rebellious uh, to you know the uh, you know what these uh uh uh, uh, you know, kings as example of presidents, okay, your know, governments that's gonna be establishing things, you know, uh, unlawfully, man. Come. Okay, that's what you go into those uh, unrighteous decrees, man. People are gonna, uh, uh, not gonna be listening to it, man. They're gonna be rebellious to, to it, man. Okay, because they're gonna, they're gonna get sick of their shit, man. That's right. Okay, and you're gonna be seeing that as a prime example, as we have slowly been seeing those the rebellious. That's why you see got riots. Okay, you got people uh, 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 standing up for whatever uh, uh, rights they believe in. You know what I'm saying? That's what you you see in that uh, uh, right now. But you're gonna see at a higher degree. Okay, and, and increase even more when it comes to America, man. Okay, but these other uh, other uh, 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 countries are gonna uh, be a prime example of, of you know going into the scripture, man. Okay. That's it on that. Come on, I got a precept. Come on, go ahead. This is the book of Micah, chapter 6, verse 12. For the rich, <clears throat> Salakia, for the rich men thereof are full of violence, mm -hmm. and the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies, and their tongue is deceitful in their mouth. That's true. And the rich men, you know, that's going to be Job 9 and 24. You know, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So the rich men will be the people that's on the high status. Right. And when it comes into that, it says they're full of violence. So when they're trying to push, you know, these draconian laws, you know, um, 
what were mandates, you know, because they have an agenda that they're trying to accomplish. OK, and going into that, it says thereof have spoken lies, you know, and the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies. You know, they're deceitful. All right. Their tongue is deceitful. God, you said <clears throat> rich men. OK, going into these higher uh, uh, banking elite families, man. OK, the Bugattis, the Rothschilds, Rockefellers, man, and so and so. OK, they're the ones behind these uh, extra events going on, man. OK, they are playing a huge part. And what's being, um, you know, done, okay? When you seeing this happen in certain places, in certain uh, un unrighteous decrees are going up, they're playing a huge part in that, man. <clears throat> okay. Come on, man. Come on. And uh, and I don't know if I don't know if it's still on YouTube, but I gotta make some time to find that documentary. It's called "The Men Who Built America." That is a very <clears throat> powerful documentary. It, sh it, it shows how all the elites became who they are today. And they did a lot of dirty stuff to each other. They killed a lot of people. They uh, they did, um, they did stole things. They did everything that they could to get where they needed to be today. All right? <clears throat> a, lot, a lot of blood was shed. All right? Because uh, like, they, they have agendas, you know, to accomplish. And right now they're trying to force that the jab you know what i'm saying they want people to take it and so you make that decision if you're gonna follow the law section and commandments that the most high had you know set in stone for our people to follow the nation of israel because they know who they want to um target yeah. all right because leviticus leviticus chapter 19 verse 28 you know shows you what how to walk you know the way to walk when it comes to them putting that pressure on them devils on taking the thing or not Leviticus chapter 19 verse 28 says, Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. So we're not going to partake in these other, these heathens, you know, the he the methods that the heathens use, all right? Which is putting needles into your um, arm, man, or wherever you may put it, you know, in your flesh, all right? You're not going to put it into your bloodstream, all right? God, and that's right, you know what I'm saying? And to relate that into, you know, uh, these things that have happened over there in Germany, man, okay, you're going to have scenarios, situations, you got brothers that's doing work on close to four corners, four corners of the earth, man, okay, okay, and, 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 and man, uh, scripture says go about not being ignorant of uh, Esau's the <coughs> devices, man, okay, the devil's devices, man, so, hey, man, the, the left is not going to be uh, caught up in those, uh, 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 those traps, man, God. okay, so you're gonna have brothers out here who on uh, the spirit prayer about Shmash. He's gonna protect because they have this truth, man. Okay, they have Yahweh about Shmash. Okay, and they're not gonna take that thing, man. Okay, but you're gonna have a lot of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that's gonna take that thing and fall into that snares. All right, and a prime example of that is gonna be situations of the ones that's getting beat up, man. Okay. Uh -huh. A lot, a, a lot of people are going to fold, man. That's right. And there, there's going to be a lot of people, like the people you see at work, the people you see at the grocery store, people who, like, like, like just the familiar faces that you see on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Those people are going to fold. All right? Go on. So, like, like people in your local town, you know what I'm saying? Those people are going to fold. Go on. All right? You know, the elect will not be deceived. And, and there'll be other people there'll be other people that won't be deceived but they won't have a power mm -hmm. like the elect mm -hmm. all right, right. We, we, which is your how about shot that's right nobody else will have that power except the elect man and a lot of people are going to fold i don't know if you ever been hungry before you know what i'm saying and you like you, you paid all your bills and you're hungry imagine feeling like that for two three four five six days a week, two weeks, people are going to go berserk. That's right. And people here in America, they love to eat. Mm -hmm. I always say that in some of my classes. Americans Americans love to eat. If they don't eat, they go crazy. Yep, man. America has a, a fat, covetous spirit when it comes to food and other things, man. Okay? Greedy spirit on them, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? And food is one of them that they, that they value. Yes. Okay? That they idolize food, man. Okay, so that's how much more when they have it? No more. They're gonna, they're gonna start eating each other. That's right. And and that's the and and, and that's uh, and that will be a reality, man. Come, on. I got All a right. scripture on that. Come on. Yeah. Lamentations chapter four verse nine. Mm -hmm. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. Mm. Mm. 
So when you know when this famine comes in, right now they already have you know meat very very high price, you know. So when you are hungry, you know, it, it's gonna go into it. Let me read it more. It says, "For these pine away, stricken through for want of the fruits of the field." So that's like plaguing your mind, man. When you want to eat and you can't sustain it while you're hungry because you can't eat nothing, so your mind is gonna go really berserk, man. And the only way to have a sound mind is the ones in this faith, you know, which That's is right. truth. So the most I can plague your mind to make you have wants of the fruits of the field. God. All right. And and above it, when it says, um, they that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hung um with hunger, that goes into people dying from the weapon, you know. It's better for you to die from the weapon than to die of hunger. God. All right. And, and read that again, Bobo Kashan. And make sure you got verse ten too. Lamentations chapter four, verse nine. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. And that's the point, man. Okay, you don't, you don't want to die. You don't want to die by a hungry way, man. Okay, that's a that's a terrible way to go out. Okay, to be hungry, your body, your insides eating this, it, itself. Okay, you starving, man. You're gonna have people who are gonna be who's gonna be in the spirit of just take me out, man. Yes. They're gonna be trying to kill themselves. But guess what? They're not gonna be able to kill themselves, man. Okay, they're gonna try. People are gonna be out here trying to do the best they can to to, to do something to themselves to to to, to take themselves from being in that misery of, of this family, man. That's what about to come upon this earth, man. Come and okay. death will flee from them. Yep, yeah, death yeah, shall yeah. flee from them, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I was like, like somewhere in the Book of Revelations, like like death's gonna flee from away from a lot of people, man. Come you know for these pine away, stricken through for want of the fruits of the field. Verse ten, mm -hmm. the hand of the pitiful <clears throat> woman. No, no pitiful. <clears throat> so lucky. The hands of the pit, pitiful woman have sodden their own children. Uh, what? Have sodden their own children. If you go into the <clears throat> word, <throat> if you go into the word sodden, it means to boil. All right. So there's gonna be women. All right, <clears throat> especially single mothers. They're gonna be boiling their kids, and they're gonna be eating their kids. All right. Uh -huh. this, is, this, is, this ain't nothing new This ain't nothing new Alright At the times where um, um, The children of Israel were sieged by the soldiers Nothing can go in, nothing can go out People were selling Bird poop Alright, you know, uh, like animal parts You know You know what I'm saying And people were eating each other's kids They were taking turns Who, Whose kids that's going to be eating next Alright, so this lockdown Is going to be just like that but a lot worse people are going to be in their houses running out of food guess what's going to happen they're going to go to the next um next house or their next door neighbor in their apartment complex and they're going to raid in their house and ask for food all right it's going to get worse it's going to get worse and worse and worse people are going to try to be killing themselves people are going to, like people like it's going to be families where like the father's going to do all that he can to feed his children all right that's right so yeah so there's gonna be women out here gonna be boiling their babies and they're gonna eat their babies yeah man you're gonna see a lot of cannibalism going on man cannibalism Ca God. cannibalism the God. water brother God. all right you, you, you're, you're gonna see this in real life okay i was watching a video on not too long ago uh, uh about a few months ago but it, uh, it looked like to be uh someone being roasted over fire man okay and, 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 and as you look at it, you're like, yo, man, this is the, that, that spirit of, of of people is gonna be on 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 these Americans, man. Come. Okay, it's gonna be on these Americans in that day, man. On a, on a very intensive level, of uh, 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 high demons gonna be on people to where they're gonna want to eat. Okay, another person, man. Okay, because they're gonna be that much in starvation, man. Come. Or eat themselves. Or themselves. Watch, because when these. Because when America mobilizes the troops here, man, they're going to block the cities. And for you to get to the next city, you're going to have to be, what, veed up and chipped by the Karagma, uh, all right? That's right, yeah. You can't say the actual words because this video is going to be taken down. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, so the Karagma is going to be like like the last step for you to be a citizen of the B system, man. That's right. So, so if you want to go to the next city, if you want to go to... A different country, you're gonna have to have that uh, a badge of servitude of the B system, man. <clears throat> yeah. So what? And people who don't have that, 
and those people who are sieging that city and they can't leave that city, guess what's going to happen? They're going to start going crazy and they're going to start killing other people for food, for pop tarts and, and ramen noodles, a bag of rice. Yep, and you can see that you see that right now as a prime you know, prime example, all right, with this this Vanessa Williams thing, okay? You see that right now in the beginning of the, you know, in this year going where at over there in Israel where they had made it uh, you know, at certain tra transportations uh at airports were uh now we're just in Israel, but you know, in certain areas mm -hmm. around the world where you couldn't even go uh certain places without having uh that 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 thing card man con, okay, con. that v card man con, like if you want to go back to the gym or, or if you want to go back to certain places <clears throat> yeah you know what i'm saying or even uh get around as a, a you know uh taking a plane mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying you had to actually have these things to transport you know and and these things uh, were irritating people man okay people were standing up against these things because of simple fact that it's it's not something they're used to of that restriction. God, so guess what? They folded. Mm -hmm. Those people folded so they can go back to their normal lives, so exactly. they can be accepted and they can be loved again by those who already took it. Mm -hmm. So listen, man, all that is about to come here very soon. Okay? God, I got, yeah. um, I got uh, that scripture that you have roughly perfect page uh, earlier mm -hmm. about um, and death shall flee from them. Yeah, go ahead. This is the book of Revelations chapter 9 verse 6. It says and in those days shall men seek death mm -hmm. and shall not find it <laughs> and shall desire to die and death shall flee from them. Oh my goodness man. In these days man okay these last days that we're in okay in this time man okay you're gonna you're gonna see people who are gonna, who are gonna desire Death for the uh, uh, death and destruction that's gonna be upon this earth. The famine, man. Okay, the plagues that's gonna hit this place so hard, man. People are gonna seek death. Okay, in air of their life, man. Come, okay, man. they're gonna they're gonna desire, uh, um, you know, these things, man. But guess what? As it said, uh, 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 it says, death shall flee from them, man. So <laughs> you gonna can you imagine you you trying to kill yourself, but. Uh, but death fleeing from you, huh? Come. Yeah, hell no, nah, he don't want to be. He don't want to be uh, messed up with you, man. You gonna, you, you, that's a shitty feeling. You can't get away from that, man. Okay. Hey, a lot of you people are gonna experience the fact of that exactly, man. Okay. Yes. That's in the scriptures. All right. It's up to the Lord if you uh, if you live or die. Come. According to Deuteronomy thirty two thirty nine, man. So the Lord controls. Uh, your pros uh, your good days and your bad days, your prosperity and your adversity, life and death, and poverty and riches, it, it, it come with the Lord, according to Brother Sirach, man. So the Lord controls how you live. The, like, like the Lord controls all things. That's what makes Him Almighty. That's right. Powerful and great and terrible. Yeah. Okay. So remember, these lockdowns are 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 coming soon to this side. All right, all these mandates are going to come up to this side. Germany's going through it. Australia's going through it. All these New Zealand, everybody is going through it. On the, on the, almost everybody is about to submit to the system. It's going to reach all the way up to America. That's right. And, and once America gets that grand finale, everyone's going to have to submit to the system. NATO and the EU and, the, and all the vassal states that's connected to According to uh, uh, um, you know, according to the B system in the book of Revelation chapter thirteen. That's right. America is gonna. She's gonna be the worst, man. Mm -hmm. She's gonna be the worst. She's gonna be the worst, and she's a whore. Yeah. All right. According to Revelation uh, um, eighteen, well, she is the whore, man. She's about to be found out, already being founded. Mm -hmm. And she's gonna be ended with nuclear missiles. According to Revelation chapter eighteen, bitch. God, God. I got some. <laughs> I got some scripture left. <laughs> God, go ahead. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, mm -hmm. that ye may be tried. And ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Mm. Hey. And, and this showing, you know, for us that's in the truth, you know, that even though we have, you know, our power, we still going to be tried. 
and 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 we can be touched you know the devil can grab us put us in prison but we follow what the scriptures you know because they're gonna obviously try to demonize you know our people trying to bring out the truth because it says the servant is not greater than um his lord which is yahweh shah if they did that to yahweh shah for speaking this word and the truth then when it when it comes and hits america all this you know lawless society everything trust me us bringing out this truth where where the target you can tell because we're following the scriptures where the reason where the resistance that's not gonna um take the the um jab because you know we don't trust in the devil man you know we following the scriptures we know who the devil is which is the so-called you know white man you feel me and the rich it already talks about the rich man so we know their agenda we know what they're trying to do and we're not gonna um what is it called be ignorant of his advances okay and this is on um, matthew chapter 5 verse 10 it says bless bless are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake mm -hmm. for theirs is the kingdom of heaven Come. and obviously to get to the kingdom of heaven we got to go through much tribulation that's right all right and if we're persecuted for righteousness sake that's that's us being blessed man so that's why we need to still stand our ground we need to still bring out this word and feed the sheep so that we can blow that trumpet and let everybody know, you know, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. God, all right. God. So we should repent of our sins. So that way, um, Yahweh Shem Yahushai will, will be our guide. All right. By following these scriptures and he'll be there for us. God, that's right, man. So, you know, to sum it up, you know, I'm saying for you so-called um, Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, man, seek Yahweh Shem Yahushai while you have the time. All right, because this place is about to be destroyed with thermal nuclear fire, okay, and, and starting off with these plagues and, and, and the famine, okay, and death and destruction, man, okay. Everything's about to hit a, a, a great, at a great level. Uh, um, so it's, it's best you decide uh, uh, right now, man, to seek your Abbas Masai's face, man, okay. Or are you going to play a part taking in, in these uh, destructions, man? You know, Lord, Lord willing that it, it, it be uh, for the ears that, that hear, man. Okay? Come on. Um, I got another scripture. And for you brothers that are, are, are fighting, you know, that's a few words of encouragement there, man. Okay? You know, keep your head up, keep fighting, keep pushing, man. Okay? It's because we know that we have Yahweh Bashman at the end of the day. It's going to protect us and keep us whole as long as we do what we do for him, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? In simple form, it works, man. And okay. it's written, it says, fear none of those things. That's right. All right. None of those things, man. We don't have nothing to fear for. Okay. We, Yahweh Bashma is the omnipotent power, man. Huh. Okay. All right. The Heavenly Father, His begotten Son, man. Okay. Our, our Father and our, and our big brother, man. Con, con. And we definitely want to make a class of, uh, on the next class, we saw on Friday, we definitely want to, uh, Make a, a like make a class about it, you know, like, like not fearing no man. Come on, man. man. You know come what I'm saying? So, we'll, I got one more script. Come on, go ahead. There's a book of Acts, chapter 14, verse 22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we must through Salakia, and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. So it says through much tribulation. Come, All right. Much tribulation, man. Come. You're gonna go through a lot of things, man. As it says, Sirach chapter one, or Sirach chapter uh, Sirach chapter two, uh, verse one. Uh, my son, prepare thy soul uh, for temptation, man. Okay, roughly paraphrasing. So all these temptations are gonna come, man. Okay, so just prepare yourself, brothers, and keep your mind, you know, uh, uh, you know, seeking the kingdom, man. All right, to the best of your ability. All right, because at the end of the day, hey man, it's, 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 it's but for a moment, brothers, okay? We're fighting this uh, light affliction right now, man, which is going to intensify uh, as, as it's, you know, described through the scriptures, man, okay? But that long suffering is going to play a huge reward in the kingdom uh, through this, you know, this suffering going through, brothers. Gone. Gone. All, this fighting, has to, gone. All this has to take place in order for the kingdom of Yahweh, you know, to advance because right. we need this place to, you know, be be destroyed, you know, taken off from right. the face of the earth, you know. I got a precept. Con. Con. Uh, you got another precept, brother? Con. Um, so I'm bringing this up real quick. Con, go ahead. And they bring whatever precepts y'all got and we're going to end it. Con. All right. So. All right.
Right. So this is the book of Sirach, chapter 2, verse 11. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, mm. long-suffering, and very pitiful, and forgiving of sins, and saving in time of affliction. Oh. Bible, shall I shall read that again. Sirach, chapter 2, Ooh. verse 11. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Mm. Mercy. Long suffering, mm -hmm. long suffering, and very pitiful, mm -hmm. and forgiveth sins, and forgiveth sins, yeah. forgiveth sins, uh -huh. and saveth in time of affliction. Saveth in and time that's simple. Of that's it. Though that is perfectly broken down, simple. You know, that that that, that, that describes exactly what is needed, man. Okay, the Lord's long suffering, man. Okay, saving time of affliction. He's, he's merciful. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. These things, yeah, he has compassion, man. Okay, and we know these things, man. Okay, this, this is Yahweh Bashma Shah we're talking about, man. Okay, the Heavenly Father is begotten Son, man. Okay, once again, the, our Father and our Big Brother, man, they care about us. So, brothers, you know, always take that in. A few words of encouragement, man. You know, Con. just know these things. And also, can you read verse nine, Baba Kishon? Con. And that's my favorite verse, man. Uh, uh, verse 9. Sirach chapter 2, verse 9. Ye that fear the Lord, mm. hope for good. Hope for good. For good. That's, and you know, the fear of Yahweh Shem Yashad, the beginning of wisdom, man. The the two-thirds of our people don't fear the Most High. They don't even consider Him, you know. So us that's in this truth, we should be hoping for good. And you know what hope is, you know, because faith is the substance of things hoped for. And in thy word, you know, have I hope. You know, you, you put your trust and hope in the word, all right? So when it says it in scripture, ye that fear, ye have washed me out shy, that means you have that wisdom, all right? You have that understanding of the most high, how he's going to send these plagues to America and how he's going to utterly destroy this place, all right? And that's the climax, you know, of the story when this place gets hit by, you know, um, nuclear missiles, you know, destruction. You feel me? But that, that's all I got to say about hoping for good. And when this tribulation comes, we shouldn't be fearing nothing that's going to um, take place. We're God. supposed to continue to do what's commanded of us to do, which is to feed the sheep right now. You know, God. and we've been taught the terrible side of the Lord. Now we must learn the good side of the Lord. What, what can we do to please him? What can we do to be on his good side? That's right. It says, ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. We want to have mercy from the Lord. Uh -huh. you know, as the scripture said, I have mercy whom I have mercy, mercy and uh -huh. I have compassion whom I have compassion. compassion. So what? We hope for that. Uh -huh. And the first thing to do is to fear him first. And then then he will, then he will bless us the, with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Uh -huh. And then he will show us how to how to be on his good side. Uh -huh. All right? Um, uh -huh. Any brothers got any more precepts? No, that's in on that. Uh -huh. Can you lay it back to the... Uh, verse 11? No, the, uh, uh, the article. Con, con. <clears throat> yeah, uh, yeah, I was done with the article. Oh, you done with that? Yeah. Can you read the, uh, the title for me again? It says, Germany moves, um, the, um, Germany moves full lockdown for NASA mandate. Con, man, so, you know, uh, uh, this, this, this is, uh, the, the mindset of these devils, man, all right? This is about to happen. The brothers are aware, fully aware. Okay, this is being probably about Shemar Shai. Okay, so I'm going to bring this out. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell therein. Woe be the destruction to the inhabitants of the earth and of the, of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. Okay, so this devil will come down having great wrath, because he knoweth he have but a short time. And you're going to see that slowly uh, but surely uh, advancing towards America, man, mm -hmm. from the outside. Okay, That's and, right. Okay, and this is going to it's gonna hit America the hardest, man. So knowing that these devils are going to come down um, uh, um, on, on itself, from, it's like a sinkhole, man. Okay? And that's what's happening right now. These devils are going to come down, have a great wrath because you know this time is short. Mm -hmm. Okay? And, 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 hey, it says short. So brothers, just know that hey, this devil has a short time of rulership, and after that, man, it's kingdom of heaven, man. That's uh, all right. It's a simple way to form it. All right. Hey, so um, any other precepts? That's all. Uh, the planet of the Jakes, man. 
Forever. Forever. Uh, Everlasting. Uh, Everlasting kingdom, uh, man. That's what we're waiting for, man. That's right. All we can do is do what's commanded of us to do, which is feed the sheep and, you know, be watchmen. Like, watch... And, um, be occupied in prophecy. That's right. Know what's going down. That's why we're bringing out you know, current events to ha have the sheep understand what's going on. Hey, so brother, you want to go ahead and close us out? Con, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushah, Bashem, Rakakadash, Shalom, Shalom, DTA, Abad, Babal, Soon, Soon.